the history of Leon in Brawl Stars. On December 5th of 2018, Leon was added in the game in the same update that released Brawl Stars globally. Leon was the third legendary to be added to the game, but he was the first new legendary ever added to the game because Crow and Spike were in the game when the game first came out, so Leon was the first brand new legendary. That being said, Supercell had some big ideas to make his legendary status actually worth it. For only a few days, Leon's kit was absolutely overpowered. When he was invisible, the only way you could ever see him is if you manage to hit him. That meant he could literally be right next to you, but if you don't hit him, you won't know he's there until he kills you. Only two days later, they made it so then if he's four tiles near you, then you can see him. And that is still how it is today. So imagine if Leon just couldn't be seen. That's how it used to be. That's how it was for two days. But not only was this brand new invisibility mechanic really overpowered, but at the time, Leon had some of the highest damage per second in the entire game, possibly even in the entire history of Brawl Stars. Back then, if his main attack didn't one-shot you, it probably two-shotted you. So a month later, Leon's invisibility duration was reduced from 10 to 8 seconds long, and his damage was reduced by 40, which at the time was actually a pretty big change. So that put him at ease for a few months, but in April of 2019, they actually reduced his invisibility duration by another second, so it started at 10, and now it's at 7. And if you haven't caught on yet, so far, he's only received nerfs. That seemed to put him in a pretty good spot for a few months because he received no changes for about 3 months, until his Invisa Heal star power was added when they actually did the star power update. And at first, it only healed him 600 health per second, which that didn't seem to be enough because a month later, they increased it from 600 healing per second to 800. So his first buff ever was to a star power. A month after that, his first skin, Shark Leon, was added to the game. And in October of 2019, Invisa Heal received another buff. So it was increased from 800 to 1000, which to this day, it's still at 1000. And in that same update, his super duration was reduced by another second so it started at 10 seconds and now it was down to six seconds which if you remember it's still at six seconds to this day so it has not been touched since then but yeah at first his super lasted almost twice as long as it does right now so imagine that imagine going invisible as leon and being invisible for almost twice as long it was pretty fun i remember being able to do it it was actually really weird because you could just walk across like the entire map completely invisible but you can't do that anymore oh and in this same update he was finally given his voice lines so he was silent like Spike for almost an entire year. At the end of October 2019, they added his second skin to the game, Werewolf Leon, which is still one of the most popular skins in the entire game. And a month after that, they gave him his next skin, which was Sally Leon. A few more months of silence would pass, and around this time, people were starting to realize that Leon actually wasn't as useful as he used to be, especially in 3v3 modes. He just like wasn't really cutting it. He had nothing to really get into the enemies. His long range damage was really bad. He had no approach options. It was kind of hard to get his super and overall he was just seen as a brawler that was way better in solo showdown than anything else and because of that supercell actually increased his damage at max range so he could have a better time trying to zone people out and if he ever needed to try laning somebody he could actually do better damage than he could before because they actually increased his long range damage by almost twice as much so if you go play leon right now and you hit somebody at max range just imagine that but cut in half that's how it used to be in march of 2020 leon's clone gadget was finally added to the game and this didn't seem to help him a ton because four months later he received a damage buff and his clone received a health buff and in that same update his true silver and true gold skins were finally added to the game still though even with all of these buffs and with a new gadget that even got buffed leon was pretty weak in comparison to a lot of other brawlers in the game besides in solo showdown so in december of 2020 supercell tried giving him an edge by increasing his smoke trail star power speed by six percent so it was 24 percent movement speed bonus to 30 percent i'm assuming that was an attempt to to make it so then if he got his super in a 3v3 mode he could get into the enemies faster but a month after that it seemed that that didn't help very much because his damage received another buff and his supercharge rate got a buff so he's getting buffs back to back over and over again Leon went from a brawler that needed emergency nerfs within two days of being released to the game to a brawler that's getting buffed over and over again that can't really find his place in the 3v3 meta at all. But the month of July 2021 would change absolutely everything for him. First, Dino Leon was added. That didn't help him at all. It's just a good skin. But soon later in that same month, his lollipop drop gadget was added to the game. And finally, because of this one gadget, Leon found his footing in 3v3 modes, or really in every mode, because that gadget helped him 
and his team in so many ways. It helped him approach people. The invisibility was just really nice for trying to dodge people and stay away from enemies. You could really use that gadget in a bunch of different ways and uh, it never decayed health. So at that time, it was really broken because if people couldn't deal with it, then they'd be fighting uh, Invisible Leon for basically forever. And this gadget proved to be a bit too useful because finally, Leon got his first nerf in two years. In October of 2021, they finally added a decay to the health of his gadget, which obviously made it so that if people couldn't deal with it, it would at least go away after a certain amount of time. And in the same update, they changed his brawler class, which they actually did to basically every brawler in the game. This really changed nothing besides like a little line of text that shows up in every brawler's page but instead of being the stealthy assassin he was now just an assassin with all the other assassins in the game and since then over an entire year later leon has not received a single change no buffs no nerfs nothing like that but 10 days ago his newest skin trick-or-treat leon was added to the game and besides that nothing else has been changed with him for pretty much an entire year and that leads me to believe that leon actually found his place in the game he's not doing bad in 3v3s he's all also not doing bad in showdown people aren't really calling for a leon buff or a leon nerf so it took a while but leon is finally at even footing and supercell was finally able to take a brawler who had fundamentally broken mechanics and actually turn him into a pretty balanced brawler so guys this is the first video in this uh, potential series that i might be doing on the channel i don't know it really depends on if you guys want to see more of it i just thought it would be fun to go on the brawl stars wiki and look at all the changes that certain brawlers had just let me know your thoughts on leon's history as a whole let's get some conversation flowing in the comment section about this video's topic and with that being said i will see you later have a good night guys